big news, you know, um, there was other stuff that happened um, involving another performer. I'm sure you heard of it. So, <laughs> this was going to be the news of the day until, unfortunately, the passing of Big Van Vader, this, uh, news of the Big Van Vader passing that came up this morning. So, Big Cass, Tuesday morning, news was released, Tuesday morning, he was given the can. Just a statement on WWE's website saying that WWE has come to terms on the release of William Morrissey, in parentheses, Big Cass. Interesting to note that WWE opted to, they opted to leave out wishing him the best in his future endeavors. So much speculation is going around right now about why, why now, how, what happened, okay? And to throw it on top of there, you've got your damn tag team partner doing a hashtag, how you doing? Right there later in the afternoon after you got canned. So, I've been reading a lot of rumor mongering and gossipy stuff that's been going on about how this went down, why this went down. I don't want to really bring up anything unless we have reported it on WrestleView itself. And I don't see it on there. So I am not going to give it the time of day just because that's how I am. Okay. And I think that's how everyone should be when it comes to getting their news about professional wrestling. Period. Is that you? when it comes to stories like this, you need to know when to discern yourself between news and speculation. Okay. With my journalism degree, you're le you're taught that you cannot print anything unless you have three sources, three confirmed viable sources. Okay. When it comes to professional wrestling media and reporting, they will throw anything up there to try to get your eyeballs. Okay. With us at wrestleview.com, we look at we try to look at every single story that passes through our inboxes. And we have our own sources that we call to verify, to confirm, or deny. That's why it, sometimes I know it takes a little longer for you to see our stories appear on our site before anyone else's. But the reason for that is because we want to verify and make sure that what we're saying is correct. Because, because we owe that to the people that this concerns. We owe that to people like Morrissey here. Sure, you can go ahead and speculate and point fingers of blame and say what was bad happened to him and everything and play your own game of professional jeopardy. But first things first, he's a human being. And whatever you say on the internet, it can stick. It can spread like a virus and it can ruin someone professionally. Ruin them personally also. You have to choose your words wisely and choose your reports wisely. I, I don't like saying this because it makes me sound incredibly biased because I write, I, I write for WrestleView. I record for WrestleView. I'm a part of WrestleView. But the reason I am part of it is because I have a lot of faith in us as reporters and as journalists also, to know that we will do the right thing when it comes to reporting news like this, okay? To know that we are reporting factual, correct information. Believe me, I've read so much gossip this morning, actually the past 36 hours, about how this went down, why this went down, involving... You know, everyone from Vince McMahon all the way down to bottom of the rung performers and involving incidents here and abroad. But if there's no confirmation on any of it, I'm, we're not going to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it to jeopardize this young man's professional career. Okay? 
He can come back. He can come back. Okay? But it's not for us to determine if he will ever come back. It's not for us to determine how bad it was. We can't do that. That's not for us to do. That's not our job. And our job's not to entertain, it's to inform. So, and this is one of those stories also where you may remember uh, during the days of WrestleView Live where I would be on, and I was incredibly and still am critical of what a professional wrestling media is. There is no such thing. They'll just print whatever they want, hope that it sticks, hope that you check it out, you give them your eyeballs, they get the advertising dollar. And that's actually what the internet and journalism has become anyway. What kind of eye-grabbing headline can we put up there? What kind of BS can I type out with my little fingers to bring me money? It doesn't matter if it's real or not. doesn't matter if it's true or not. I just need to make money. Tappity tap, tap, tap. And that's in that kind of taking advantage of the medium and how broad it reaches that is what has led to the downfall of journalism in general, but more specifically, why there is no such thing as a professional wrestling media. Anyone can write anything and tack up anything. Give you a great example. Um, many of you know I'm a fan of the Cleveland Indians baseball team from my hometown. There was a report a month ago that was written by some blogger, just random blogger, out of Puerto Rico that said that um, second baseman Jose Ramirez failed a drug, failed drug test and he was going to be suspended for 60 days. He just wrote it out of nowhere. No nothing. No sources. No nothing. No quotes. No nothing. It spread like wildfire through the sports media. Major League Baseball had to call the Cleveland Indians organization itself and say no. He's been clean on every test. In fact, if any of this happened, there would be an appeal process and no one it would never be released into the media until well after the fact that it's been done. People can write anything on the internet and it turn into just bile. Professional bile is what it can turn into that you have to wade through and try to deny. I don't know how we got to this point. I think it's laziness that got, it to, got us to this point. But with regards to Big Cass, William Morrissey, and his release, right now, just I'm just going to say, he's been released. We don't know how. It was incredibly abrupt. Why? We don't know. We'll just have to wait for the right people to say the right things, whether it be from Morrissey, whether it be from the WWE, whether it be from other sources. But for now, you just have to leave it at that. He's been released. News. Don't turn it into drama. News. How's that for a sound clip? 